Well, just before we uh, have a look at the Chills film made in London, let's talk to the guy who made it, Peter Cathro. Welcome. Hi. How did you get involved in uh, the making of this film? Well, I was living in London at the time, and um, living with Craig Taylor, who was at that stage promoting the Chills, and he approached me with the idea of um, making a documentary about them and the sort of English experience that I, you know, at the time. And so we got together a few ideas and um, approached Brent Hansen and uh, made it. <laughs> and how did you think they, uh, they went down, like the live gigs? Well, there's a guaranteed sort of New Zealand audience at any um, gigs with a New Zealand band. There's 18,000 New Zealanders living in London at the moment. Amazing. And, and um, of course, they get, they're between the ages of 20 and 30, and they're going to turn up in any band yeah. that's playing there. <laughs> and uh, they, went very, they, went, they did very well, I think. And they tell us they're going back soon. How do you think... Uh, would you want to make any predictions? <laughs> well, their, uh, their album's sitting at number three in the independent label, in the independent charts. And um, they've got a... I think I've got a gig with uh, Billy Bragg, and they'll do very well. Well, let's have a look at the result of your efforts. Thank you. Come in. We're What's Left of the Chills. I'm Martin. Yes. And I'm Terry. Uh, that's Terry. And we'll just show you bits of our holidays, what we did in England late last year. So have a look. Yes. Bright on the beach. And this is the uh, Martin walking out of the door and across the road scene. Take one. This one on the road there was the shop I bought in Brighton Rock. It wasn't as nice as I thought. And there's the pier, the first shot of the pier. Some of the famous uh, mod rocker violins of the 60s. Mm -hmm. and there we are watching um, some old people swimming in the water. Extremely cold day, and uh, below norm. And here we are taking photos of them, being tourists. Oh yeah, this is the uh, Beatles shots that we did outside. Uh, what's the name of that club? Zap Club. It's a really small little cabin, about the same size as the door. Can we come in? No, you can't. Hello. Seen in Quadrophenia, and here we are. Inspired by Having a good time. <laughs> we don't feel London changes at all, really. We're still basically the same. We don't, shy. We don't give us this image-conscious kind of environment over here at all. No. There goes the tube. <laughs> boys in the uh, tube walking and running oh no we can hear it we've got to run for the tube now that's my creature gloves that I picked up one of the men from Camden Market Bonington Square, this is where we stayed. Uh, the chills driving along the road, and who do we see but a couple of ex New Zealanders? Oh, hello, girls. And they're lost, but they really know where they are. Where, where are we? <laughs> and they told us where to go, and so we went. <laughs> it's an interesting place, it's fitting. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> One, one thing about, see this shot here is very, uh, it's very just, sort of describes a lot about London, is there's a lot of uh, dog, dog defecation on the footpath. And, you know. and so this is actually quite a symbolic shot, really showing a New Zealanders in London not yeah. known. There's a big market for doormats. I recorded this in the, uh, the leather jacket, oncoming day, hopefully potential single in a, the Point Studios in London. Oh, great, yeah. We recorded two songs for a single, uh, doing late night shifts, about 
June, July, for a much longer stay this time. Base ourselves yeah. there and uh, zip around the continent and uh, America and uh, Australia and uh, the Middle East. And the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that either. 